Hi, you guys. Happy Sunday. I hope that you guys are all having a great evening. I wanted to jump on here tonight for our team call and really talk a little bit about something seasonal um, with how we can help moving our business forward. Um, but one of the things that I think that is so key during the holidays is that business is all about relationships. This business, it's about rekindling those relationships, linking arms together, just really the prime time to be investing in relationships that we have. So reconnecting, sending awesome notes, you know, nice notes to people, getting together for wine, play dates, whatever that looks like for you. And if that is something um, that really interest, then I really think that this is the call for you and this is the information for you because this is again all about relationships. And now is a really great time. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about this tonight, but there's going to be um, an announcement tomorrow um, about a Christmas type of um, package, if you will, <clears throat> that's going to be put out for everyone um, so that we can actually help market it out. So this is going to be something that's going to be really, really great um, way to reach your potentials and reach your people that are interested in your new customers and um, those customers that were maybe have fallen off or those ambassadors that maybe have fallen off. So that's kind of what I wanted to bring um, to you tonight. So let's talk about moving your business forward and how to impact your business through the holiday season. I think that this is a lot of times that people think that this might be kind of a write-off period in your business, but I want to say because people are busy, but it's definitely one where you obviously and absolutely want to spend time with family and friends, want to go to holiday parties. But in addition, there is a lot of things that you can do to set your business up for the new year. Um, but with that said, there's a lot that you want to do to set your business up for um, the new year and set yourself up for the new year. Because missing out on this time span right now before the new year's resolutions season is can be a really dangerous thing for you to do to set yourself up for the beginning part of 2019 if you have big plans for yourself. So something to really look at and optimize you is the information that I wanna bring you tonight. This is something I wanna help you optimize your time so that you're doing effective things with your business, but still be able to do all of the fun things, the family fun things. Because you guys probably know how dedicated I am and the last thing that I wanna do is go through the holidays feeling burnt out and especially starting 2019 feeling burnt out. I want to start fresh, happy, and do not want to feel like I'm spending all the holidays working, but don't want to waste that time either. So I have 12 ways to rock your business during this holiday season and setting yourself up for success. I've taken lots of notes, so I just want to make sure that I get them all to you. But if you want to grab a piece of paper or pen, I'll be putting this up on the team page, but this won't be really helpful for you. So the first two things are going to be more on a larger topic. So as you may know, if you've um, been around here for a while or if you're new, there are some really cool specials that happen every single holiday season, every single Black Friday, every single Cyber Monday. So it really kind of can help us start brainstorming and get our heads spinning. And these specials that are coming out, they're inevitable, right? So it can help us start targeting um, at our new employers that are thinking of joining or target our new customers that are thinking about joining, but also target those sales um, and specials for ourselves, like to stay accountable to the products and new team members to see, you know, what, what can we be doing um, in the meantime to help us set ourselves up for success. Um, so that's really what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So we definitely want to be making sure that we're priming our markets and our teams, all of our customers, ambassadors that have joined you for these specials that will pop up. So here are two things that I wanted to talk to you about. The first one being the weight loss challenge that Plexus Corporate has come out with, the 14 day slay. If you guys have not yet done this or become a part of this, this is so awesome. And I wanna show you what comes in this box just so that you know, so you can kind of get your head around it and talk to people about it. So in this box, it's, it's, so it's $199, but I wanna show you everything that comes with this. You get three bags of lean, two vanilla, one chocolate, which I have yet, I'm like dying to open this. I have not tried it because I'm starting on November 26th. So you get three bags of lean, you get a bag of slim, a bottle of edge, 
and a bottle of block. That all comes in your weight loss products that you can select. So this is the purple, there's a purple circle when you go to your shop page in your back office, or if a customer goes to your website, there's a purple circle that will say, you know, this product package is for the 14 slay challenge. These are the product groupings. So you guys, this can be so huge for your business. And if you have not yet taken advantage of it, the first thing that I would love for you to do is to get yourself in there. Um, because once you're in there, you can help your current team to get in there. You can start promoting it as a tool for growth but also promote it to help bring people back for the holidays. Uh, we have probably quite a few people that have maybe not been super consistent or maybe fallen off or maybe taken a break for one reason or the other. This is such a great way to get them back in. Not only is they're putting themselves up for a challenge, but even though it's called the 14 day challenge, these products will last a full 30 days and it's 42 meals that are being replaced. So this is gonna help reset their mind, um, eating habits while they're using our supplements and really having an understanding what the supplements are doing. And I love that they included block because this is a really good focus around the holidays um, and to promote on Facebook. Uh, because if you think about the Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday sale, whatever these specials are going to be announced, um, these are two things that are going to be incredible ways to get product groupings in the hands of ambassadors, customers, potentials. Um, and anyone that has fallen off, um, or even anybody that has expressed interest. So I challenge you, I know that I've heard a lot about maybe the price being an issue, but to replace 42 meals is absolutely huge. Um, and you know, it's really important that we share what's going on and share this opportunity. And one thing that I think is key that I think that Plexus has their head around, you know, one of the things that I especially have noticed is that people do not want to diet over the holidays. Um, what they want to do most likely is probably make it through the holidays, feeling good, looking their best, um, and not throwing themselves, you know, back in, in their goals in the new year. So it's a really great way to do is, is meal replace for breakfast and lunch, and then also do all the things in the evenings, right? Like holiday parties, movies. Um, so it's not a crazy diet at all, but it's really using the lean um, to help meal replace. So I would really love to make this into a gigantic deal um, and really help start promoting um, you know, on, on your page, um, but really just try to think about joining, joining yourself because I'm telling you when people are like, I don't know. And it is, it is if, you, if you're looking at it in a lump sum, but looking at it product wise, I'm really excited to start on, um, on the 26th. So if anybody has any questions for that, I know that there's a couple of steps to, um, for people who join, but that's my number one goal to kind of make it through the holidays. We are not doing a team seven day challenge this month simply because I feel like our focus on the 14 day challenge can be really huge um, taking us through. So number two, so that was number one um, was the 14 day slay. Number two, and I'm gonna share my screen um, because I just bumped this on the team page. Let's see here. Share my, sorry guys, I'm trying to. You guys see what I'm sharing? Hi Dana, hi Sarah, hi guys, hi Carly. Can you guys give me a thumbs up if you see this IPA sheet? Yeah, see it? Okay. So again, this is number two. I know we talk about income producing activities, IPA sheets. This is the one that's in our files tab on the leaders page. Um, for those of you that were at the leaders retreat when Jen Hawkins came last year to St. Louis, um, this is one that she uses. I know we have different versions. This is one that I have really found that just kind of keeps me focused and makes me feel like it's doable. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can do this IPA sheet. Now I, I just wanted to bring this to your attention because this is just something that is so, um, I feel like it's super simplistic and really just kind of eye-opening. So I like to print mine out. I print mine out. Um, I like to, I'm more of a, I like to say that I'm a planner, but I'm more of a fly by the seat of my pants girl. And so I like to print them out and I like to fill this in like five or 10 minutes before I do it that day. So like 
the five contacts that I'm going to make, I like to pre-fill that. I like to pre-fill out my three prospects. I like to pre-fill my posts, do all of those things. Um, whatever way that you find is easier for you to really focus in on this IPA sheet, but it's super simplistic. And I want to go back to the basics and really say like, rather than having your day and your time spinning out of control, I feel like if you just take 30 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever that looks like, and check this off daily, I think, and you have a goal to do this from now through the end of the year, I think you will have huge momentum in your business. I think you will have people watching. I think you will have reasons to follow up with people. I think you'll have new contacts and, and you know, it's, and it also keeps us consistent on our products. Um, but I like this version. Um, I, you can find this in our leaders page in the files tab. Um, I just bumped this up and I'm going to ask all also add this in our, in our big pink, um, freedom team page. But I really wanted you to take a look at this really quickly and just say, if I either put this out electronically or if I printed it out, whatever works for you and whatever system that is, if you want to do the sheet and then fill it in. Um, but I like to three hole punch mine. I'm a paper person and put it in a binders just so that I can see along with my box system. So this is just something that I really wanted you to, to take a look at, to see how easy and simplistic it is. So I'll stop the share right there. Um, I think that a lot of people might get hung up on social media posts and not have the time. I know that Buffer and Hootsuite that used to post automatically for us, kind of they, they nix the rules so they don't post on our own personal team page or our own personal wall. They'll do it in a group setting, but not in our wall. But if you think about, um, you know, if you're strategic and really focus and say, okay, if I, the only time I have is in the morning and at night to post, make one of those um, posts personal and make the other one educational about our products or about water intake or, you know, just to kind of build and help your brand. I think that that's going to really help you stay accountable um, and help you set yourself up for success through the holiday season. Even if you're getting distracted, just to sit down and just to do it um, is going to be really, really helpful. And if I think that sometimes, you know, getting really down to the bare bones of things like the IPA sheet, sometimes setting up an accountability group or if you have your own team going, maybe set up an accountability Zoom or, or a call saying like, this is what I did this week. You know, how was yours? Um, and this isn't just for people that are planners. This is just to help you stay disciplined. So that's number two is the IPA sheet. Um, the next 10 things are just a little bit more of a small scale thing that can really help your business through the holidays. And these are 10 tips that you can put into action um, to help you grow. And it's not necessarily that you need to wait to December to do these things. You can do it now. Um, but what I would say, you know, kind of how I mentioned in the beginning, what I love about the holidays is that relationships are rekindled, reach outs happen. People are expecting to be connected, expecting to have that Christmas spirit. So that's what I really love about the holidays. And it's the perfect time to do these things. If you're someone who feels uncomfortable about reach outs or uncomfortable about you know, sending a random message to people. I think people expect that through the holidays. Um, so as I go through these 10 quick tips, I'm going to talk about samples and thank you cards and different things of that sort. But I don't want you to think that you have to spend a lot of money at all. This is more of like a think outside of the box. Um, you know, whether rather than giving somebody a seven day trial pack or three packets of slim, we can talk about one sample, one stick. They're going to know whether or not they want to try it. Or the new Joyome samples in our back office. I don't know if you guys have seen those, but it's a very easy way to hand those out to people and to really put it in their hands. Um, but I want you to keep at that top of your mind. The number one thing would be, I want you to gift Lexus every chance that you can from now until the end of the year. I want you to have that at the top of your mind. Gift this give this gift to people. Um, so number one, uh, or number three, let's put it that way. Um, the first number three is tomorrow. They're going to be coming out with a package special, big secret. Um, I may have led on our team page and I know what it is. I do not know what it is at all. I've been seeing these on, um, other team pages and around Facebook, but I know that it's something awesome that a lot of the jewel ambassadors have been begging corporate for. Um, so if you aren't taking time um, to really 
start connecting with people, take some time to connect with people because the more you connect with them, the more that they can connect with you and that they're going to see um, your information that you put out there through social media or if you want to send them in a private message. So number three is going to be the big secret package Christmas special that's coming out tomorrow. So I can't, I can't wait to see um, what that is. Number four, one of the things that I want you to think about, thank you cards, holiday cards, whatever you think is appropriate. I'm doing something a little bit different this year. I mean, I do um, family holiday cards every year um, and I'm a Christmas card person, but also this year I've ordered a couple of extra the secret to success magazines that are in our back office. And for those people who I really feel like are on my, you know, my top 10 dream team list, I am sending a, a personalized note and a secret success magazine or a success magazine to them. Um, for those people on my top 10, because I have that belief in them. I see this vision for them. And I think if we can put something in their hand, it's going to help them see that vision for themselves. And that's just, again, something that I just decided to do for my, for my um, dream team list uh, going forward right now. Um, so that is one thing, you know, think about those holiday cards or think about um, things that you can maybe stick in the envelope, you know, like wanting to share the love of my holiday spirit this year, anything like that, sticking a slim, a sample in an envelope to send out. Um, so that leads me to um, the next one. Um, have samples ready to go. If you are at the grocery store or clothing store or you're buying gifts, uh, it's the perfect time to give out samples. Um, you can even do like on Etsy or Amazon, they have Amazon probably a little bit cheaper. They have those organza bags and you can put a sample of Slim. You can put little E samples, um, joy -ohm, whatever that is. Cause I, I like to think about the grocery store, you know, these, these grocers and the, the people that are, are checking us out, they've been on their feet all day. So if you put, um, a, a Slim sample and an E sample, I mean, they, I bet they would just soak it up and love it. Um, and even those people that are already, um, you know, on your list or, or, or people that you feel like you could get it into their hands and really help them and change their life. Um, you can even make printables, um, super cheap on Etsy. Uh, they have print like little printables, like holiday sayings about the stick of slim. You can find those, or you can print your own for cheap and have those ready to go and do not be afraid to share them because this is the time of year where it's perfectly acceptable to give people that extra token of love. Um, maybe even think about like, and this is um, gonna be my next one. I've kind of lost track of what number I'm on, but I'm touching base on all of them. Um, but maybe even think about who you can gift Plexus to. Um, the UPS guy, <laughs> uh, teachers, your mailman, you know, people that might be thinking that you're gonna get, give a small token of appreciation anyway, go ahead and, and add the gift of Plexus in that. Um, go ahead and add that to the list. I've seen people take pictures before where um, they put on their front porch with some samples and a little note for their delivery people to take some. Um, because we're going to be getting together with family and friends, and sometimes those are our biggest skeptics. So I would just really try to assure you to be confident and talk to people about not even about plexus, but about how you feel and what you're feeling, like how well rested you are, um, how great of sleep you're getting, how you have all this energy and you're excited and, um, you know, be proud and talk about these products. And if you get nervous and choke on your words, like I used to, um, like if somebody asks you what plexus is practice, you know, if from now until Thanksgiving practice, what are you going to say if somebody asks you about it, you know, and this, this is where it's your story. It's your words of, of how it's helped you and be proud and be comfortable because you might see some friends and family that you haven't seen in a while. But if you're proud of what you have, if you're, if somebody says like, Hey, your skin looks great. You can say like, Oh, Hey, it's the joy of I've been using, you know, just tell people and be proud about what you're doing. And don't be afraid to talk about the gold that's in your hands because what people don't know, they don't know. And they might not know you're still doing plexus. They might not know that you've even started these products. Wherever you are in this journey, 
put yourself out there. Um, I remember walking into Thanksgiving my very, was it my first or second year? I can't really remember. And I remember my family, like I was ready for it because my family is very sarcastic and they're funny. And I walked in and before anybody could say anything, I said, okay, if everybody would like to pause and look to the left, there's going to be a screen coming down. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about flexes. And so everybody laughed. And that was really my way of like, I'm not going to let anybody make me feel not confident and not proud, especially in a room full of all the people that I love. So I'm going to put it out there first and see what happens. And, and then it was really like, you know, then my cousin started on it. My aunt started on it, my uncle. So it's just one of those things of how you approach it and how you take that confidence to the next level. Um, the next tip, we talk about those people who have stopped taking the products. And while we don't want to put so much energy and focus, we used to call them white lines because in our old back office and our old, older reports, they were white lined. If somebody didn't order, they were appearing in white. Um, so if you hear the term white line, that's probably what it's referring to. Um, this is a great time to reach out to people that have stopped the products. Um, you know, into the new year in January, it's a great time to reach out about them because they don't, they might not know about all the amazing new products. They might not know about slim hunger control. They might not know that we have that second pink ring. Um, you can even say something to them and say, you know, I know you did not get the results that you were hoping for in the beginning, but we have these new products. We have this 14 day, you know, slay, and I really am so excited to share with it with you. And I would love for you to give this another go. What do you say? So it's a really great reason to reach out to people. Um, and if you're ever thinking about reaching out to people who join you and left, just do it. <laughs> it's the greatest time to do it. That could be another list that you make. Um, so that's another tip. Next tip, um, think about hosting an event. Now this doesn't have to be a Plexus event at all. This can be um, a happy hour with your neighbors or a mom's night out or something, something to get a group of people together and just have fun and connect and rekindle relationships. If you wanted to do a, excuse me, a Plexus event, you could definitely do something. Um, what, that could even be like an online, like um, I was wanting to do something like gifting my 10 favorite things and having like whoever wants to join me come on and have Plexus Pro Bio 5 be one of those favorite things. So that's like an online event where people could just stay in their comfort of their own home and they're all getting free things. So like, again, maybe that'd be my favorite nail polish or my favorite whatever. This is just an idea that I had going through my head, but host an event. Um, that could even be like a customer appreciation um, online event. You know, anybody who's ever ordered from you, anything. So it's just a really great way to be connect, connected, be social, get together, um, and not putting plexus in their face, just a good way to rekindle. So that's another tip. Um, the next one, I'm going to make sure that I'm getting all these. I would love for you guys to be strategic with your products over the holidays. So be visible about it. Um, and when I say that, I just mean, you know, if you're at Thanksgiving dinner, maybe right before you have your plate, maybe bring this bottle of box, set it on the table, throw it, throw it in your hands, two capsules. It's gonna spark up conversation. Um, maybe while you are cooking dinner, um, 30 minutes before you eat, maybe mix that slim up right in front of, of other people. Maybe while you're in line at the grocery store, maybe have your plexus hat on and then mix up your drink. You, it's gonna spark conversation. So be strategic with your products over the holidays, um, around your family, around your friends, just be visible. So that's my next tip. The next one, I think we have four more to go. Um, the next one, other thing that I would suggest that you do, make a list of all of the people that currently order from you. Now they don't have to order every single month, um, if they're wholesale ambassadors or customers, but it's somebody who, you know, that are really, that have been consistent in the past that have ordered, you know, every once in a while even. Um, and I would love for you to send a thank you card to them this year. You can get thank you cards at the dollar store. Um, you could even send an electronic thank you, you know, through one of those e-cards um, or get on Etsy and they have Plexus thank you cards on Etsy. But send them a thank you 
and even ask them for a referral. Let them know that you are so happy to help anyone that they might know of that struggle with certain things. Um, but I'm gonna really strive to do this and get this out in December, um, just so that I can have it out and, and they can get something fun over the holidays, you know, a nice thank you. I don't think that we send regular mail enough and I think that it just speaks volumes and it's very appreciative. So think about writing down all the names of the people that order for you and sending thank you cards. Um, the next tip, think outside of the box to um, give to give gifts, to gift someone something. So we're all, we're kind of theming this around gifting plexus as much as we can. But if you're not comfortable giving someone um, a product for a gift, maybe give them a bottle of wine and a sample of block um, or homemade cookies with a sample of block. Or maybe you can give them some joy home samples and a moisturizer, something, something along those, those lines. Um, because giving over the holidays is the perfect time to really kind of put it in the hands. I know that for um, the teachers at Sophie School, that's definitely something last year, and I can't remember, maybe it was for Halloween, um, but it was all about not eating candy and putting a slim in there and, you know, and, and putting it in a little orange bag, and that kind of just spoke volumes um, over and started and sparked some conversation. So, um, give the gifts. Maybe if you're not comfortable giving the products completely, just think outside of the box of a way to give and to put it in their hands. Um, the second, or the last one I have, this is number 12, make a new Frank's list over the holidays. Because if you guys think about it, you're going to be meeting so many different people. You're going to be at so many different gatherings, different parties, different things going on, maybe in your community or at schools where your kiddos go, whatever that looks like. Um, even if you're putting the name of the checkout person at Walgreens on your list, write all of this down because as the holidays can go very fast, um, for some people, this is a slow season for other people. It can just move extremely fast, but you're going to get all combobulated and, and forget the people that you talked to and forget the people that you met and forget the people that you've friend requested or that have sent you a friend request. So make a new Frank's list over the holidays. Um, and come January, you can use this list and really start um, rocking and rolling. But again, all about relationships, all about rekindling and using the, the tools and things that we have right now at our hands to really blow it up. I know that January 12th is Super Saturday, and it's amazing of how we can really kick off the new year. I think that when we have events that are out, you know, like convention, we're all fired up at convention and we come home and we're all fired up the next two weeks of convention. And then slowly, because you're not around that hype and, and that anticipation and that curiosity and all the newness that you feel and that fuel that you feel around a lot of people, it can start to dissipate. Um, and Super Saturday is just kind of one of those things also that gives us that event that can really fire us up and a lot of new things coming out, even if you're going to be watching it live stream and you're not going to be watching it, um, you know, in person with a lot of people, it can really help fuel your fire. So I just hope that these tips have kind of helped you guys kind of hone in a little bit about how you can really take it through um, starting January, kicking it off with a bang, because I know that our convention contest, I believe, will start um, slowly after uh, Super Saturday. So that will also help set you up for success because that's going to be something that's going to be um, really fun rolling out as well. But do you guys have, I know it's a lot of information coming at you. I'm going to unmute you guys. One second. I didn't even miss you guys. I started before I started. Go on. How are you, Dee? Good. I'm, I'm muted, I think. What's going on? Oh, I'm not muted anymore. Okay. No, I unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see if you guys had any questions or had um, well, Sarah, you, some good stuff. So you, you mentioned something about um, not using any of the um, the schedulers to post on Facebook. Yeah. So Buffer. Ever since Facebook got in trouble, um, Hootsuite and Buffer no longer work on our personal timeline. Now, if you want to do, like like in our seven day challenge, like hosts can post group posts things and schedule it out. Like I still schedule stuff out in our big team pages. That has been really hard for um, people like like teachers or people that are working all day, you know, that used to be yeah. 
Um, so now it's gonna, it's a little bit more strategic where we, I, I haven't found a system. So if anybody knows of another system that they're using, I would love to hear about it because that's, that's one thing that I used to use all of the time. And um, it's been a little bit tough that now that that's gone away. Okay. Yeah. Is, did you use that before? No, I didn't, but I thought that maybe you were still using it and I couldn't figure out how you were doing it where it doesn't say Hootsuite or, you know, buffer at the top. Yeah. And, and I, I was kind of, I never really, I always thought that was kind of a, it just looked more planned. You know what I mean? Yeah. When people saw it. So I was wondering yeah. how you're doing that, but I didn't know. No. You were doing anything <laughs> so, so one thing that has really helped me that I, uh, when I go into Facebook and save posts that I like to make the later yeah. time. Yeah. I have subfolders created in my saved file. So you can yes. do that and create. And I will have like, I have one named Plexus Testimonials, one named Inspiration, one name, you know, so I can kind of go in and say like, and then once I use it, I delete it. I, I unsave it so that I don't see it anymore. So that's kind of a good way to, to uh, do that as well. Okay, great. Hi, buddy, how are you? Hey, can you say hi? We're not muted <laughs> anymore. So hi. Bad. Skin so big. How are you? Are you, are you ready for Thanksgiving? <laughs> yes. I'm <That's> five. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're, you are five. I love that. I know. I think Carly. Oh, Carly was muted. Mm -hmm. Sarah or Carly, do you guys have any questions or anything that you um? Are Dana? Are you doing the um the the challenge well I've, I've got the package and I'm um, we I mean I'm using it but I did yeah. not sign up for it for the challenge yeah itself so um, no <laughs> got it. well I, I'm excited I'm uh, excited I, I guess I can share with this group <gasps> yes yeah Henry what are we what are we gonna have at our house a baby sister. A baby sister. I'm so excited. Yeah. So. I'm like screaming, like waiting to announce it. I'm so excited. Yeah. So we'll make that official announcement sometime soon. But, oh my God. but no, I mean, I've got the, I've got the, the lean, I've got the chocolate and the vanilla. Um, yeah. I've been using the vanilla and I really like it with coconut milk and a little bit of peppermint extract. Somebody, okay. one of the diamonds will post about that. It's very, very good. Oh, good. Um, and then I have the original chocolate lean that they launched in the summertime, but yeah. I didn't sign up. For the, I didn't sign up for the weight loss challenge because that's right. Well, that's not yeah, what I am right now. you're growing a human. <laughs> right, I'm growing, I'm growing a human. So yeah. yes, I just ordered those two a la carte. Yeah, I ordered those a la carte instead of ordering the package. Go to your own. Okay, I'm excited to try it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yes. I don't want to so, and Henry, well, when, you, when you make your announcement, we'll have like to blow it up on our page. I'm sorry. What? When you make your announcement, we'll have to blow it up on our page. I'm so yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. We're very excited. <laughs> Hi, Car. Dana, congrats. That's so Thank amazing. You. Congrats That's on your so little exciting. one. Oh, Dana, oh, with there you? She is. Oh. oh my gosh. She's so cute. Carly, can I call Sophie in here really quickly? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stop recording. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs> <laughs>